Hey guys, welcome back to another Swift tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to purposefully uh, close an app in Swift. Uh, so you could do close, or I just say quit app. It's basically the same thing. So you might want to quit the app if you're if you want to I don't know, um, cancel something in the middle of what you're doing. So if you're running a function and the user wants to cancel it in the middle. So usually, once you've started something, you'd be changing all the variables, and you don't usually want to quit it but there might be a specific reason why you want to so I'll just show you guys a few ways of quitting the app so pretty much the most obvious way is if I just um, rank a button and I'll call this button quit app so if we just link this button up uh, like that quit so I'm also place this button in the middle. So basically what you can do is you can just call a exit and then you can just do any number in the middle. And what this will do is it will just quit the app, pretty simple. <coughs> so if we run this, we see when I click the button, the app will just close and it'll look like it crashed, but it actually closed on purpose. So it shouldn't harm any files, I don't think. Um, but we'll see. Okay, and let's just wait for the app to load. Yep, so if I click this button, you can see it closes the app. And it looks like it quit, uh, I mean, it looks like it crashed, but this is one way of quitting it. So another way would be to use the fatal error, and you can just do a fatal error, so, uh, or you can have a message, but if you're quitting it on purpose, then you probably just want a normal one. If you do this, it will do this, and then it will just freeze. Um, but I think if this was an actual device, it would just quit, close the app. But yeah, so that's a final way. And then a final way, uh, oh, sorry, another way is um, you could just crash the app yourself. But that's probably the least uh, worst way to do it. Let me just try and think of an example in which you would crash the app. Um, hmm. uh, I can't really think of one. I mean. Yeah, oh, I mean, there are lots of ways, but I just can't think of one. But basically, if you want to quit the app, then I'd suggest using the exit zero, or you can actually do anything. So if I just do another number in here, you'll see that it does the same thing. But yeah, so this is probably the best way of quitting the app. But another thing you should know is that uh, if you quit the app on purpose, you actually you might risk not being accepted into the app store. So if you're trying to make a commercial app, then you probably don't want to quit the app um, through the app itself. Uh, it's in the Apple guidelines. But yeah, basically you should try and avoid using this. Only use it when you completely have to, and if it's a really specific use case. But yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in a future tutorial. Bye!